Have you ever wondered, how big can a land animal truly get? This question tickles our curiosity, doesn't it? The animal kingdom has gifted us with creatures of all shapes and sizes, from the tiny ant to the colossal elephant. But what is the upper limit? What factors dictate the maximum size of these terrestrial behemoths? The answer is not as simple as you might think. It's a complex interplay of biology, evolution and environment. To answer this, we need to delve into the factors that limit the size of these terrestrial giants. The size of land animals isn't a random occurrence. It's influenced by a variety of factors. Let's start with two key factors. Limited resources and the sheer difficulty for large animals to move their weight. You see, the bigger an animal is, the more resources it needs to survive. We're talking food, water, space, you name it. But the Earth's resources aren't infinite. This can put a cap on how big an animal can get. Not to mention the larger the animal, the harder it is for it to move its weight around. Imagine having to lug around the weight of an elephant every day. It's not exactly a walk in the park, but there's more to it than just resources and weight. As humans began to dominate the planet, the distribution range of these large species started to shrink. Humans, with their knack for building and expanding, took over habitats and resources that were once home to these colossal creatures. This human-induced habitat loss has led to fewer giant land animals today. It's a bit like a game of musical chairs. As more and more of the chairs, or in this case habitats and resources, are taken away, there are fewer places for these large animals to go. And just like in the game, those who can't find a chair or a suitable habitat with enough resources are out. This doesn't mean large animals have disappeared completely, though. There are still some giants among us, like elephants and giraffes, who have managed to adapt to these limitations. But their numbers are fewer than they once were, and their sizes are often smaller than their prehistoric counterparts. So, these factors play a major role in determining the size of an animal. But how do these creatures adapt to such sizes? An animal's size isn't its only remarkable feature. How they adapt to their size is equally intriguing. Let's look at the unique ways these giants have evolved to handle their massive weight. One such adaptation is the reduction of musculoskeletal constraints. This means they have developed larger bones with more contact areas and muscle attachments. But it's not just about size, it's also about density. These creatures have evolved to have a higher bone compactness. Now let's talk about their limbs. The positioning of limb bones in these animals is quite unique. They are arranged in a columnar fashion. This particular arrangement reduces stress on the bones, ensuring they can support the animal's substantial weight. However, these adaptations are not without their trade-offs. The columnar arrangement of limb bones might help with weight support, but it compromises the animal's mobility. For instance, these animals are prevented from galloping, limiting their speed and agility. These adaptations enable these animals to carry their massive weight, but at the same time limit their abilities in different ways. So, we've journeyed through the factors that limit size and the adaptations that these giants have evolved. We've seen how limited resources, human domination and the daunting task of moving colossal weight have all played a role in constraining the size of land animals. We've delved into the world of incredible adaptations, from massive bones to columnar limbs, that help these behemoths manage their enormous size. These titanic creatures have evolved to overcome musculoskeletal constraints, demonstrating nature's ingenious solutions to the challenges of size. In the end, the size of a land animal is a fascinating interplay of various factors and adaptations, each playing their part in the grand scheme of nature.